Yeah, yeah, it's going up. If like all you really need to really do a good job right capitalizing your instrument is the you know, nine thousand. Like you're right at a thousand. These are all oh, pretty much the exact same MIDI per unit. You just have every charge uh, coming in. So if we were only willing to take our flight detectors and expose them to the to break. Look at D5. D5 is really starting to get wow. tickled now. That's good. In fact, uh, channel, that's channel 50 and channel 500. Factor of 10. Uh, 550 and 1. 10. So it's a 10. 10. Oh, divide by the difference the thickness. in the thickness. And that works. That's good. The algebra's still works. Yes. <laughs> Looks like the last time we were here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now it really all, pretty good point. you know, the low energy stuff, <laughs> different game. the funny counting at the low end on the thins is pretty much all. Oh, well, the thin stuff is much. New, new game uh, change. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You actually see something else. Thins are more fun this time. Yeah. 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 Sorry. We, we had a much um, lower gain on our thin detectors. We recently revised that. Uh, in so part because like nothing we could come up with actually made a signal. So Mike, could you was really kind zoom of in on the fins and maybe go to 80 to try to kind of match the relative range, just so we can compare shapes and such. Make 80 make sense. It's nice to be at the point where you see an interesting bump, so I guess pretty confident it's the, the right accelerator one. and not your instrument. So we <laughs> must be. Okay, so we're thick, at 17. About 75 MeV. Mm -hmm. How much? 75? For the thick, the so stop, yeah, 75 MeV proton will stop in the thick. Okay. And what do we say? It's 24 in the thin. Okay. So 100 MeV proton can make it through the whole telescope stack. No, just the one thick. 100 MeV proton okay. has a range in silicon of 1.6 millimeters. Mm, that's not right. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wait a second. Curse, did they change the uh, okay. units? Oh, that's a straggling. Never mind. Yeah. But look at the shape. There are D5 in these things. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and remember that there's no way off at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I think you're going to be around 12 and a half MEV will stop on that. That sounds about right. That's right. right. Which is consistent with the five channel 500. Um, oh, it took a minute. That was probably pretty. I think, yeah, I think, I think we're done here. We should have Ethan. It's about four, about four MEV in the thing. So, Ethan, I think we've got enough good data here. It'll it's be interesting. interesting to compare now. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Smear. Uh, this will be an interesting experiment because actually, uh, separately, I've been kind of looking into the range, range energy table accuracy. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a nice comparison because, you know, a magnet setting says we send a certain energy. Uh -huh. And then I've calculated the degraded energy at the basis of the range energy tables. Now I'm going to go from a whole bunch of degraded to no degrader. Right. Supposedly the same energy. So, so you know what? See how I might, for rapid analysis, when we'll start to capture we'll this really see some yeah. differences. And then we'll, we'll, that's that's and then we'll say, say switch between them. So, did you want to come levels. in and yeah, just uh -huh. watch this process? So, we'll, we'll write a paper on this. Um, let's see. Do you, do you submit papers on yeah. some of this? Yeah. Like just do a. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I get a NASRAC paper screen. in every year. Okay. Because it's my best way of maintaining the presence there as advertising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's how we put the data workshop. 